What's up everyone? I am in San Francisco for Gen Beauty. Here we go. Um, I've just got into my room. I actually already kind of unpacked a few things and let me show you it because it's actually really, really pretty. So there's the front door, you walk in and then there's the room. There's like the bed and everything, really pretty. And this room is like ginormous. Like I could do like squats in here, you know? All my booty is sore from working out yesterday <laughs> but it's huge and then you also have the tv and the desk and then the bathroom is like my favorite part this is the bathroom it's like all marble absolutely gorgeous and then i love the big mirror right there amazing so yep and then also you have the bath and the shower so right now i think i was the first one to get here everyone else flew in from lax they all took the same flight i flew in from san diego so i got here before everyone else so i'm just chilling i actually order room service i order kids chicken tenders <laughs> because i order off the kids menu and then i ordered a side of fries with it no no it can't it comes with it and then a water so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna work out I'm gonna try to work out my arms and my butt are really sore actually. I just noticed my butt when I was trying to do those lunges. <laughs> but I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna go to the cocktail party. So let's go. All right, so room service just got here and I'm gonna show you guys why I order off the kids menu. This is why. Right there are kids chicken strips. Do you see how big that is? How is a child going to eat that? Like, I mean, come on. And then I also got water. That is why I order off the kids menu because they are huge. And one, it's cheaper. And then two, it's huge. There's no way a kid's gonna finish that. Like that's an adult meal right there. That's not even a full adult meal. I'll probably eat two of those. <sighs> I'm gonna chow down now, I'm starving. All right, so I'm all dressed for the gym and I'm ready to go work out. So actually, I'm actually kind of ready to go and discover where the gym is. I don't know where it's at and I think I'm gonna get lost. There ain't no bueno. Let yourself go. Let yourself go. You always come around looking so uptight. Scared that you're gonna be impolite. Is this the way you wanna live your life? Please listen to me and see the light. You need to express that free from the stress. Let's leave our regrets. not to get myself a break so I only worked out for 36 minutes but I think that worked yay all right so now I can actually talk because there's like a group of guys like coming 
our way, my way when I was talking. I was like, oh, this is awkward. But um, yeah, so I just got done working out. Um, did mainly weights. I saw that they had a TRX band and I really wanted to do that, but I didn't see where it connected on the thingy. So I was like, I don't know how to connect this. See, that's like the one bad thing about working with a trainer is that she sets everything up for me and tells me exactly what to do. And she counts my reps. Whenever I work out by myself, it's like, how do I do this again? How many reps do I do again? Um, yeah, and then also like where are my like levels of like I have a whole sheet and I take pictures of all of it But it doesn't have like all the information on it. So I'm like, oh That sucks. I should have just grabbed one of those sheets and just did one of the workouts to that I kind of just did what I really wanted to do today like what I love doing even though I did do lunges holding 10 pound weights. I didn't, I don't think I, I did not record that one. I only recorded some of my workouts. I even did one with like the bicep curls doing 15 pounds. Towards the end of my workout, I just put on my Instagram, but I look so spent. People are gonna be like, dude, like that's my improper form. But I was so spent because I was at the very end. But I worked out for about 36 minutes, but I didn't give myself any breaks and I just kept going and going and going. So that kind of like, usually when I work out with her, I get like little breaks and like I just kind of, we walk to the next like round because we do so many sets. I mainly was like sticking with one and doing three sets of that one, or I was doing two sets of different things. So I go one set here, one set there, one set here, and I just go back and forth. But a lot of you guys all want to know my workout routine. It changes all the time depending on like if I have to work out days back to back, if one has to be a push day, one has to be a pull day, and then however I'm feeling that day is really depends on it too. So we have like tons of different workouts. Oh my God, I feel like I was talking a mile a minute. Um, I'm actually going to rinse off my body, probably try to rinse off some of the self tan because as you guys can tell, my face is totally different color than my body. I don't have a dark enough foundation for this stuff. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower, obviously. Um, waterfall showers aren't the easiest to wash your body with if you don't want to get your hair wet. It's like really hard, you know? You're like, I gotta get my front, and then you're like, I gotta get my back, and you're like having to stick your booty out, like, yeah, get my back for me. It just, it was very difficult. It was very, very difficult. What's up, friends? Oh my God, my face is totally lighter than my body. In the mirror, it doesn't look like that, but on camera, it does. <sighs> Okay, so just got ready for the cocktail party. I decided not to curl my hair. I just was not feeling it curled for some reason. I just wanted it straight. Hey, I'm in the mood to drink tonight and that's not a good thing. So I can't drink tonight. I can't drink tonight. Madison, you do not drink tonight. You have one sip of wine and you don't drink after that. I just fall into the crowd, the environment the atmosphere. My energy goes off of what the environment is. If the atmosphere is fun, then I'm like uppity, crazy, like super social butterfly. But the, the environment's like down and it's like slow music and people are just sipping on, like then I'm like bored. I get bored so easily and I'm like, I'm done. I'd rather just go to sleep. All right, so I'm getting ready to head to the cocktail party. I'm not gonna bring my camera because this thing is way too big and way too heavy. I stopped vlogging with my RX, my Sony RX100 because the quality of that one just, it does not make you look good. And I vlogged with it on the cruise and I just hate that footage so much. So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna go back to my AVD 100 and use that. So let me go ahead and show you guys my outfit. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm just wearing this dress from Lulu's with some Valentino shoes. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> you hear that call? <laughs> we got the whole Ipsy crew back here. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hey.
tomorrow at CoverGirl at 1 o'clock. Tomorrow, yes. CoverGirl, right over there. 1 o'clock, you guys can meet Madison. Okay, okay. Hey guys, so guess what? We're on a boat in the harbor right now. So we just go with Benefit Cosmetics. It is absolutely gorgeous in here. Oh my god, they have like so many fun little things and also a bar and probably a ton of hors d'oeuvres. You know what? Let's just go ahead and just like walk around and explore. If we trade a heart for heart, then our souls will be lost forever. So I'll never let you go. Never let you go. I'll never let you go. Never let you go. I'm not even drunk, but like, yeah. just being by Roxette just literally like lifts me. I bring you energy. Yeah, she gives me energy. Let's see. Thank <laughs> you. 